a suspension bridge connecting our past to our present and connecting the island to the mainland. Six or seven years old when they dedicated the bridge up here. Built in 1939, this 84-year-old bridge has made commuting to and from the island much easier than the other means used in the past. It was an awful lot uh, more convenient than the ferry that uh, went across. Hubert Billings was here when the bridge and the stone causeway was constructed. But should this 85-foot high bridge stretching over 1,000 feet be updated or replaced? I don't think it's feasible, really. It has to be replaced. So it's, it's not built to handle modern traffic. Even if it doesn't fall in the water, it's still not working well for us. We can't plow it in the winter properly. We can't handle large, wide loads coming across without traffic and safety problems. To better understand these safety concerns, a desktop emergency management scenario will be run next week. It will simulate a fatal truck accident that causes irreparable damage to the bridge and how it would affect traffic, first responders, schools, and the people who live and work on the island. But then there's a follow-on in the case of the bridge. It could go days to years before the bridge is replaced. And uh, I think that presents a lot of interesting planning challenges. This issue has sparked debate between those who believe this historic bridge should be held onto and modified to fit modern times, and others who believe it's time to move on. Help the island a number of ways, you know, not just economically, but everybody criticizes it, but you know, they all go across it, just saying. In Deer Isle, Doug Banks, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.